Hello and welcome to my Learn With Me Mini Freak series. This is episode 14, The Sequencer. So first, what is a Learn With Me series? A Learn With Me series is where you join me in going through a synthesizer end to end, learning to get the best out of it. In this case, it is the Arturia Mini Freak. Last episode, we looked at the Arpeggiator. This episode, we will look at its counterpart, the Sequencer. So first, let's create an init patch. through and design a sound because I don't want to waste too much time. Okay, sequencer. So the arpeggiator gives you access to a whole load of features here. The sequencer doesn't have access to all of these play modes, but it has a number of interesting capabilities. So first, how many steps have we got? Well, we actually have got uh, four pages of steps. So if we hold last step and press one of the pages, it will extend our sequence to that length. So I've just made the sequence, uh, the sequence 64 steps long. The steps will be as long as the time division that we set. So if I set it to 16 then that's four bars of common time. If I set that to eight, then that's eight bars. So we have the capacity to record a fairly long sequence. If we hit play, you can see it advancing through and we can follow what's going on here. The flashing light indicates the page that we're on currently. So how do you go about entering a sequence? Well, you can enter a sequence either in real time or in step time. So if I click a step, that step is selected. If I play when I'm not in record mode, if I play notes, it's going to try and play the sequence. If I put this into record mode and a step is pressed, let's skip ahead. And you can see that the sequence of step advances. And I can either click on a step to move to it, or I can press rest to advance. So if I go out of record mode, so that's a sequence recorded. If I put us into record mode, will replace anything that I play. So whatever is in the step when I play, whatever's there will be gone. If I hold shift and hit record, it's going to be enabled and disabled. So now I'm in overdub mode. So overdub is going to apply whatever I play in addition to what's there. that the gate that I played doesn't seem to make any difference. And that's because the gate is controlled by the gate control. might I want to be able to do? Well, first I have the standard gate control. So 
so I can do that. We also have access to the spice and dice. First, let's put some effects in place quickly just to try and make this sound a bit more interesting. a lot more compelling. Let's have a look at Swing. If I go overboard with Swing. So just a subtle Swing. So you can see now I've Shorten the sequence again. If I extend the sequence, you can hear that it's keeping track of where it would be in time. Just like in the arpeggiator, we have access to spice and dice. So we roll the dice. Roll the dice again. And finally, we also have the ability to record modulations. So I turn us into re mod record mode. Try that. So if we're in mod mode, we can click into this modulation and we can pick a step and we can adjust its value. So we can go through. Modulations. Similarly, we can go to another lane and we can record another parameter. So let's enable record. So now we have two modulations running. Just like everywhere else, we can press and hold, and delete the modulation that we made. In the same way as we can edit modulations that way, let's say there's a step I want to change, I have the capacity to press and hold the step and play something. So that gives us a very straightforward way of editing. that gives you a feel for the capacities of both the sequencer and the arpeggiator. I think they have a big value over what was offered by the MicroFreak, and I think having the, the display to adjust the modulation parameters, I think having these hands-on controls here are always available to you. Having the ability to change the sequence length and change it back and have it remain in musical time and also have it remember notes outside of the range that you were recording, those are all very useful features and very performative features. 
In any case, I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. I think having covered the ARP and the sequencer, that is all of the features of the synthesizer. So next episode, we're going to start designing some sounds. I hope that sounds interesting. In any case, thanks for joining me today at... Goodbye. <laughs>